Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So, you've probably seen the headlines, the US just struck three of Iran's nuclear facilities. Natanz, Fordo, and Isfahan. Now, I know the word nuclear is enough to make anyone's heart skip a beat. People start picturing mushroom clouds or a Chernobyl-style radiation disaster, but is that really what's happening here? Today, I want to break down why these attacks aren't setting off a major radiation crisis and why you don't need to panic. Let's get into it. Alright, here's the rundown. On June 21, 2025, the U.S. launched airstrikes on those three sites. These are some of the key locations in Iran's nuclear program, mainly used for enriching uranium. And just to be clear, these attacks used powerful conventional bombs, think bunker busters, not nuclear weapons. Iran saying the damage was minimal, and the International Atomic Energy Agency, or IAEA, is keeping a close eye on things. But the big question, if these are nuclear facilities, why isn't this a full-on radiation disaster? Here's where the science comes in. These sites aren't reactors or nuclear bomb storage, they're enrichment plants. Basically, they're processing uranium so it could eventually be used for energy, or possibly weapons. But nothing is undergoing fission here. Fission is the process where atoms split apart, releasing a ton of energy and those infamous radioactive byproducts, stuff like cesium or iodine that caused all that trouble at Chernobyl and Fukushima. But at these Iranian facilities, the uranium is just being prepped. It's like having raw flour in your kitchen. Until you bake it, it's not a cake, right? No fission, no chain reaction, no massive radioactive fallout. Most of the uranium at these plants is uranium-238, only weakly radioactive, about as dangerous as what you'd find naturally in the ground. If a bomb damages some of this uranium, it doesn't just float off and spread across the region. In fact, experts like Professor Claire Corkill from the University of Bristol have pointed out that, even if some uranium dust gets out, it's not likely to travel far. After previous attacks, the IAEA found radiation levels outside the facility were normal. The real risk here is chemical, not radiological. For example, uranium hexafluoride gas which they use in enrichment, can become toxic if released. But that's a localized hazard. Dangerous for the people at the site, not for the wider public. So here's why you shouldn't panic. The IAEA is on the ground, monitoring everything. They've confirmed any contamination is inside the facilities and can be managed with proper protective gear. It's nothing like a reactor meltdown, where radioactive products can spread far and wide. Professor Jim Smith, who studied Chernobyl, says even enriched uranium is only about three times more radioactive than natural uranium, not enough to trigger a major environmental crisis. Plus, Iranian workers were evacuated so risks to people on site are lower. The attacks are serious in terms of geopolitics but this isn't a radiation apocalypse. So to sum it up, no fission, no widespread radiation disaster, the science is clear. These attacks are about disrupting Iran's nuclear ambitions, not causing a radioactive nightmare. If you found this helpful, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell so you never miss an explainer on big news like this. Got more questions about Iran's nuclear program or these attacks? Drop them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer. Stay curious, and I'll see you in the next video.